Hi there, and welcome to this, which is the first lesson in uh, Pure Mathematics 1 from the LXL International A-Level. The intention is that uh, this will be the first in a series of videos that goes through all of the Pure Mathematics in the International A-Level and all of the Pure Mathematics in the Further Mathematics A-Level. But we begin at the beginning at Chapter 1, looking at algebraic expressions and 1.1 index laws. This chapter really is a revision of basic algebra, but algebra is extremely important for A-level, uh, and it's important that you are very, very competent at all of the basic algebraic techniques. So it'll be no bad thing to quickly just go through those again. We begin with the index laws. So for instance, if you had multiplication, something like x to the m times by x to the n, x cubed times by x to the four, for instance. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means you've got three x's multiplied together for x cubed, multiplied by another four x's for x to the power of four. That will be x to the power of seven, because in total you've got seven x's multiplied together. x cubed times x to the power of four. We added these three x's to those four x's. And that is what becomes the general rule for multiplication, which is that x to the m times by x to the n is x to the power of m plus n, the powers added together. That's multiplication for division. Now, we should say really straight away for division, it's rare that you'll see a divide sign uh, in A-level mass. It is much, much more common for a divide to be written as a fraction, x to the m divided by x to the n as a fraction. And I would get used to that if you aren't already so. If you had x to the 5 over x squared, that's what it would look like. 5x multiplied together, 2x's multiplied together on the bottom. It's possible to divide the top and bottom by x twice, or cancel 2x's from the top and 2x's from the bottom. That would leave us with 3x's on the top, 1 on the bottom, which gives us x cubed. Now, what were we doing then? Well, we had 5x's on the top and we took away 2. So we had x to the power of 5 take away 2, which is where the 3 came from. In general, that gives us the law that x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n is x to the power of m take away n. Slightly more confusing is when you have a power of a power. So x to the power of m all to the power of n. What does that mean? Well, let's look at the example x squared all cubed. x squared cubed means x squared times x squared, times x squared, three times. That comes from the cubed. That would mean x times x, times x times x, times x times x. You've got two x's multiplied together three times, which is why you get two times three and x to the power of six. And in general, that becomes the law, x to the power of m all to the power of n is x to the power of m times by n. Uh, the two indices there multiplied together. There is a special case of that which is worth considering, where you have two things inside the brackets, say xy all to the power of n. That is equal to the first thing to the power of n times by the second thing to the power of n. You can take the n inside, but does need to go with everything that you're multiplying together. So for instance, xy cubed is the same thing as x cubed times by y cubed. More complicated than that, if you had 5x cubed y squared all squared, You'd square the 5, 5 fives are 25. x cubed squared, you do three twos, that gives you the 6. y squared squared, you get 2 times 2, and that gives you the y to the power of 4. Okay, that comes to our first set of examples. Now, what you should do is this. Pause the video and have a go at doing those six examples yourself. Uh, when you've done your best at doing them, then restart the video and I'll talk through each question. Okay, we'll go through these together. So the first question, x cubed times x to the 4, we just add the powers. 3 plus 4 gives us 7. 2a cubed times 3a to the 4, we do 2 times 3, that gives us the 6. And then we add the powers. 3 plus 4 gives us a to the 7. b to the 7 divided by b squared, we do 7 take away 2, that gives us b to the power of 5. 12x to the 5 divided by 3x squared. 12 divided by 3 gives us the 4. For the powers, we need to subtract them. 5 take away 2 
gives us the three. The fifth question, if you had 5a cubed squared times by 3a to the four, the first thing would be squaring this bracket. Five fives are 25, two threes are six. And then we need to multiply these two terms together. 325 gives us the 75, adding the powers gives us a to the power of 10. The sixth question, first thing we need to do is square this bracket, four fours are 16. Two fives gives us a to the power of 10, divided by two a to the four. We do 16 divided by two, that gives us the eight. And then with the powers, we do 10 take away four. That gives us the a to the power of six. Another set of examples, uh, a few brackets to multiply and uh, a couple of more complicated fractions at the bottom. Again, have a go at doing these yourself, pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, we'll go through these together. The first question, multiplying out the brackets, five threes are 15, x times x squared gives us the x cubed. Five x times the x is five x squared, and five x times the minus three gives us the minus 15 x. The second question, multiplying these two together, we get the minus eight a cubed, minus four a cubed times the three a gives us minus 12 a to the four, and minus four times minus four is plus 16. And the a cubed times the a squared gives us a to the power of five. The third question. Now there's something a little bit confusing on this question, uh, which sometimes does trip people up. One thing, well, a few things that frequently don't get written down in algebra. One of them is the number one. Outside this second bracket is implied to be the number one. We've got one times all of this. It can help with this sort of question to actually write the number one down. Be less likely to make a mistake when you open up the brackets. So the first bracket straightforward, four fours are 16, which gives us 16b squared, four threes gives us the 12b, and four times minus five is the minus 20. And I put a minus one outside this bracket just to make it slightly clearer. The minus one times the two will give me minus two, Minus 1 times the 3b gives me minus 3b. And the minus 1 times the minus 4b, minus 1 times minus 4 gives me plus 4, which gives me 4b squared. Tidying that up, the 16 plus the 4 gives me 20b squared. 12b take away the 3 gives me 9b. And minus 20 take away 2 gives me minus 22. The fourth question, um, we just need to divide both things by x squared. So for the first term, we do five take away two, that gives us x cubed. And for the second one, we do three take away two, and that gives us x to the power of one. The fifth question, uh, thinking about the number, we do eight divided by four, which is where that two comes from. 12 divided by four gives us that three. And then looking at the powers, two take away one means we've got two x. Three take away one gives us x squared. And notice again, it is x to the power of one. No one is written down, like on the question a couple of minutes ago. Ones frequently don't get written down, but you do need to know that they are there and take them into account. The sixth question, first thing you do is square this bracket. So four y cubed all squared, four fours are 16, two threes are six, so we get y to the power of six. Uh, next thing I would do is divide everything by the two y cubed. So 16 divided by the two is eight. Six take away three gives me that three. Minus six divided by two is minus three. And five take away three gives me the two there in the y squared. And that gets us to the end of this lesson. If you have the textbook, then go to page three and have a go at exercise 1A. Thank you very much for listening and cheerio.